Hi, I'm Espen Croft, and I am the 80s. The Roland 626 or the 707? Which one should you get and why? Today, I investigate. The differences between these machines are really how you use them. And when it comes to the sounds, it's really the kick and snare that separates these two machines. So I'm going to start off by programming in a short beat on each machine and see how it sounds. I'm going to focus on kick, snare and clap. So the 626 is first out. So let's turn off the metronome. Very straightforward. And let's go to the 707, do the same thing. And off with the metronome on that. So let's compare them. I've added some compression and reverb. Now, the 626 has 30 PCM sample drum sounds on board, and that includes a lot of percussion sounds. So let's go through the sounds. Each of the pads has an alternative sound you can choose from.
And the 6 to 6 has another trick up its sleeve. It can tune each drums from minus 7 to plus 7. You cannot do this on the 707. But the way you tune these drums is also how you set the level for each drum sound. That's way easier on the 707. I'll get to that in a minute. So the pattern, tune down. So that's the 626. Let's turn our heads towards the 707, which is a great drum machine for live use with its grid matrix way of programming the beats. And another feature that's really cool is that you have an inbuilt mixer. In a live situation, you might want to adjust the level of a drum sound quick, and there's not much quicker than to reach out and grab one of those faders to adjust the level of that sound. And where the 6 to 6 only show you the one drum sound you're programming at a time on the LCD display, the 707 shows every drum sound you're programming on this grid matrix LCD display. That's very nice and very convenient. So the sounds... Well, this doesn't have the percussion sounds of the 626. For that you have to go to the TR727, the blue one, for the percussion sounds. Both the 626 and 707 has individual outputs at the back, so you can run your sounds out to an external mixer. In my mind, the 707 has a more ready sounding kick and snare than the 626. So for the fun of it, can we make the 626 kick and snare sound a little bit more produced? Let's check out the 707. So that's the 707 straight out of the box with a little parallel compression going on everything and a little bit of reverb on the snare. Let's see if we can make the 6 to 6 sound something like this. And to do that I've doubled up the kick and snare from the 6 to 6 and I've processed them a little bit different. To get a little oomph going in the kick I've uh, also sent that out to parallel compression. But on the copied kick, I've added an insert effect, a plugin, the CLA drums. And this is just the, the first preset that comes up, the, the full reset preset where everything is at 50%. So that's the original kick. And that's the CLA kick. And I combine those two, blend it to taste. Now it has both bottom and some click. How about the snare then? I use the same CLA drums on the first. That's dry. But instead of using a snare preset, I've actually used uh, a kick preset. I often do that. It gives me a nice snare sound. because I'm going to blend this with a more woofy sounding snare because this one I pitched down half a key I've added a lot of bass to it in the 120 hertz range and I also EQ'd it a little bit so those two combined sounds pretty good
And down here I have a loop I've made a long time ago. That's actually the drum sound for Midnight Drive. And that's only the 626. The kick and the hats. So let's hear that together with the 626 snare. And so, Mr. Croft, we meet again. What's your conclusion? Well, I think it's best to have them both. The 626 is my go-to drum machine for firing off samples from a sampler in a live situation, while the 707 sounds great right out of the box in itself. Online, the 626 is probably half the price of a 707, but the choice is yours. Who do you prefer? Please say so in the comment section. I'd love to hear your opinion on the matter. As always, I'm Espen Croft. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, cheers.